hello and happy new year or if you're watching this in february happy february <laughs> hi Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before. Today, we wanna get a couple things out of the way. First and foremost, if you haven't noticed, maybe you have noticed, I have a new microphone. Maybe, hopefully this sounds a lot better than my previous videos, so Merry Christmas. <laughs> Second of all, today we're watching Jennifer's Body. Now, with Jennifer's Body, we got a little bit of ground to cover because one, I've never seen this movie, but two, I think I know everything that goes on in this movie because I've watched countless reactions to this movie. So I think I know pretty much everything that goes on, but I also watched those reactions a long time ago. I know the premise. I know the twist or like the catch, I guess I should say. I know a lot of the major, more reactory parts, but I haven't seen this movie. So maybe there's more parts of it that I still need to see for myself, you know, see with my own eyes. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So number three on this list is that I am also watching this because the writers of Jennifer's Body is also coming out with a new movie, hopefully around this time in February. I'm filming this in January, so I'm not really sure what the update is on said movie, but it is called Lisa Frankenstein. It's taking place in the 80s. It's supposed to be kind of the same type of genre of horror comedy that Jennifer's Body is in. So I figured I would watch this cult classic first before the newer movie by the same writer comes out. So hopefully this will be right up my alley. It seems like it would be. So with all that said and done, if you wanna watch the full length reaction to this movie with me, then I highly encourage you to check out the Patreon. Link for that will be in the description below. Or you can be doing for just $1 a month and give general support to me directly and the channel and still get access to the Discord and eligibility to vote on polls. So once again, if any of that tickles your fancy, link for that will be in the description below. Okay, enough chit chatting, enough discussing, conversationing. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get into it. You never know how the start of a movie is gonna be. It's gonna be loud, jump scare. I'm just trying to prepare myself for the worst, honestly. Is that in your skin? Should I? Should I be concerned? What was that? Was that hair? Oh, hey now! I jump scare. Hell is a teenage girl. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. But at least I have my fans. Wait, why would she get fan mail? I know that's not Jennifer. Welcome to the Mental Olympics. Wait, is this not prison? It is prison, right? I'm a kicker. It even says so on my chart. Just one toast him, huh? I recommend more complex carbs. Oh my gosh! I recommend you shut the fuck up. Wait, why? What's wrong with you? She, if anything, was gonna give you more food if you were nice to her. I wasn't always this cracked. Oh, really? <laughs> that was just un unhinged shit. I'm sorry I'm not like saying much, but that was just like, that was truly unhinged. Devil's Kettle sounds twisted, I know, but the place is just that's, named after a waterfall. That's an actual place, it's Devil's Kettle? The scientist guys dropped all kinds of things down there, but nothing ever surfaces. Ooh, okay, I like this song. <laughs> this song brings me back. People found it hard to believe that a babe like Jennifer would associate with a dork like me. Sandbox love never dies. We're totally lesbian gay. Okay, like you just can't be friends with girls now. Girls just can't be friends with other girls now. You and me are going out tonight because Low Shoulder are playing at Melody Lane. I saw their MySpace page and the lead singer's extra salty. Salty? Salty is not a word to describe a hot guy. <laughs> That's not a thing. <laughs> Wear something cute and something very specific in Jennifer speak. It's also like, uh, what's her name? Amanda Siegfried? Whatever. Like, she's still beautiful. They're trying to make it like she's a dork. She's beautiful. Hello? Hello? Are we like, are we not seeing the same person right now? 
beautiful. All that's different is that her hair is just a little bit different and she's wearing glasses. You're gross. You're gross. You're gross. It's so gross. <laughs> Let's go to the club. What? This girl is just this bam, bam, bam. Like all, like no stops. Just let's go, go, go. She's just unhinged. Okay, this song almost sounded like a song that's in Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen, which is also another Megan Fox movie that she's in. Jennifer Check. She I forgot Chris Pratt is in this. So random. Uh, <laughs> I um, just wanted to meet you or something. I'm Jennifer Check. Nikolai, this is uh... Nikolai? That's not a name. <laughs> That's just not a name. <laughs> Can I is she actually you? acting dumb or is this... Is she actually being flabbergasted and speechless meeting this person? Or is she acting dumb? That's the one. This girl's definitely a virgin, okay? Excuse me. Yikes. It's also... <laughs> she's right there! Is she not like so close to them? I think the lead singer wants me. Only because he thinks that you're a virgin, I heard them talking. What? Is he chewing gum while he's performing? Sir, spit that gum out! What is wrong with you? We are performing, this is performance. Okay, well, there we go. Just F me, I guess, and you're shooting to the audience. What do I know about rock and roll? I don't know. Not this song actually being good. What the fuck? Oh, she like under some sort of trance. Oh my gosh, that's way too much. No one noticed until that happened. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh my God, that lady's literally on fire. Okay, you don't hide under a table when there's a fire. You run out of the building when there's a fire. You hide under a table if there's an earthquake. Like the fuck? Jesus, that went sour real quick. Thank God you guys are all right. What the fuck? You got a drink too? I want to go to your really cool van. Nini, let's go see his van. We have the Sebring. Let's just get out of here. Please, Nini, just stop it. Just shut up. Uh, this is so sketch. If I saw my friend like that, I'd be like, no, like something, something's wrong. Like something's gonna happen. I mean, not even like demonic, just like normal human uh, scary situations. I mean, do I need to say more about it? Eh, fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. Cause that would kind of concern me too. If the fire was happening and I look over at the band and they're just chilling. Wouldn't that kind of raise your eyebrow? a little bit. Wouldn't that kind of concern you? Jennifer's gone. She, she ran off with that rock man and Melody Lane burned down. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, that's a shadow. Uh, <laughs> Nar. Narvi Gusta. You leave it open? Did you not just hear something in your basement? Oh. Um. I saw my friend like that. Okay, no, I'm actually, I don't know what I do. This is getting a little creepy now. My mom got that at Boston Market. And <laughs> Why is she explaining it to her? No! What the f It's moving. Okay. I wasn't sure about it before, but now I think you're possessed. Pull yourself together. Like, I don't know what, what do you do? Like my friend's possessed. Are you scared? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what just happened? What just happened? Like what? Ow. What's wrong, Jennifer? Girls are gross. <laughs> You're all right. Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Because you were possessed last night? People died, Jennifer. Anybody that we know? What is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Besides the obvious surface flaws. Ay, Chihuahua, what the fuck? She sees her right now in school. The first thing she asks her is, don't you care that people died? I'd be like, hey, were you not just possessed last night? Last time I saw you? Hello? You should find a Chinese chick to buck your situation. Okay, Jennifer is kind of the worst. <laughs> Dark. Oh my god. Is that not is that not JK Simmons? Is that not him? I mean it looks just like him. I mean if it is, I'd be like, he has hair, you know? Like I've never seen him with hair. Chip, I need to tell you something. 
kind of weird. It's about Jennifer. <laughs> I think she's possessed. I mean, she looked like she had been beaten up or shot or something. And then she barfed up this, like, disgusting, prickly stuff that looked like a roadkill. Well, she probably just inhaled a whole bunch of smoke or something. There's no way to rationalize what happened last night and be so calm about it. If someone, if someone told you this, like, truthfully, would you have this calm of a reaction? I don't think you would. I mean, I'm just assuming here. I don't know how you would react. I'm crazy sorry about your profound loss. Feel my heart, Jonas. I think it's broken. <laughs> this is so stupid. It's what Craig would have wanted. <laughs> this is so stupid. I think it's broken. Ugh, it's kind of creepy. A fox? Like literally all the animals? Do you miss Craig? Ha! <laughs> I don't really want to think about that right now. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know this movie was like that. Wait, you're the teacher. Let it all out, kids. <laughs> you're the teacher. You think that he's just screaming in the forest out of a fit of rage? That's ridiculous. Wait, what is that? Oh my gosh, so much is happening right now. We just got random like meerkat, white meerkat. That's like her actual pet in her house. And then th that was a pretty scary image, not gonna lie. Ew, what are you eating too? I'm telling you, so much is happening right now. What is she eating? It's this bread, mayonnaise, and like salami? Uh, wait, what was in that sandwich? Oh, okay, he actually went out to like go help that guy. Oh my gosh! I mean, do you need to <laughs> walk up that close? I mean, I would see that from far away and be like, oh, yep, running the other way. He full on walked up to it. I mean, to the body. I mean, I do love this. I mean, this is perfectly the type of movie to say I support women's rights and their wrongs. Although we gotta see just how wrong she's, <laughs> how many wrong crimeful things she's going to uh, commit. How many crimes she's gonna commit in here. We don't know. I feel so scrumptious. Yeah, I'm still a little bit depressed about, you know, the giant. <laughs> MoveOn.org, needy, it's over. Jesus, you were there too. Like, what is wrong with you? Ew. Oh, <laughs> wait, we just saw it heal. I gotta meet Chip in McCollum Park. You know, Chip is looking really cute to me lately. So tell me, is he, uh, like, packing some serious pubic inches? I don't understand how people can be friends with people like that. I know she's, I mean, I don't really know too much about how she was before she, I don't know, got possessed, but she looks kind of more of the same. Like she is kind of acting the same. It's just like heightened up a little bit, I guess. But yeah, it's, uh, it, I just don't know how anyone could be friends with people like that. That's just so weird talking about my boyfriend like that. I don't know, that's just me. Maybe it's just a me thing. The days marched on as usual, but most of us were too numb to enjoy ourselves. Okay, so this is actually kind of interesting. Like everyone's literally depressed and would it not be suspicious that she's the only person that's not depressed? I mean, it's a little odd. It's a little peculiar. It's a little weird. Okay, this song is actually... <laughs> Okay, the flowers wilting just to show like the time. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm, I'm liking the contrast of the passage of time, right? Seeing how everything's playing out. We know Jennifer is still acting up, but it's like over a course of time. I don't know, I like it. Oh, she's not looking too uh, too well. Like they, it gets like they, it's just, uh, <laughs> she hasn't even asked her. Hey, did they kind of like hurt you that night? I mean, yes, everyone's talking about this tragedy, right? Okay, yes, the thing burned down. That's very sad. But also my friend kind of got kidnapped by this group. And for all I know, from what I'm assuming, she kind of got, you know, let's just say hurt by them. That's just like the vibe that it was portraying. So it's like, wouldn't you talk to your friend about that? Or like try to be like, hey, did something happen? She just started acting completely different right afterwards, you know? Don't look at me like that. This guy, it seems like he's in something, something else. You wanna know if I'll go out with you? No. I don't, how'd you, how'd you Just know? go ahead with the pitch. Okay. Um, 
there's a uh, midnight showing of Rocky Horror at the Bijou. I don't like boxing movies. It's not a boxing movie. Colin's really nice. Well, I think he's really cool. You do? Yeah. Then I'm gonna go out with him. Why don't you just come by my place tonight? I just got Aquamarine on DVD. It's about this girl. Aquamarine! <laughs> I love that movie. Oh my gosh. Uh, Emma Roberts, baby Emma Roberts. Uh, I love that movie. I would love if Aquamarine gets a cameo in this movie. I'm not even kidding you. That would put this movie over the top. 10 out of 10, 100%. Hi, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? This weird, like, competition. Super ambient. Ew, it's so awkward. I I hate the awkwardness of it all. Like, I really do. I hope you guys can understand that. Get it together, man. My way. Me. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a date with Jennifer. She's really hot. The fuck? It's literally boarded up. He breaks into people just have no patience. Nobody, our attention spans as a society. I mean, what is going on? His first instinct was to break into the house. I mean, we just have no patience anymore. We couldn't wait a little bit longer. <laughs> it's just so funny that this music is like barely playing. And it's so weird. What's going on? <laughs> She's like, I will keep the awkwardness at an all-time high. <laughs> you give me such a wet ear. Yeah, what the? That's not a word that people use. <laughs> her vernacular just is just her verbiage is just so uh, completely different than a normal human's. I guess it's because she's not really human, but like that's just not a thing. Jump. I mean, I thought boys like you were really into vermin and death and shit. <laughs> and I guess I just don't want them to be here while we're getting it on. They don't need a front row seat. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, he's like, I need to just jump out the window right now, right? Ah, that's creepy. The fuck? Ah, what is she doing? Ew. Oh, weird. She's getting... How is she getting visions? Why is she getting visions? How is she seeing this shit? <laughs> He's like, hell yeah. Ah! Is she seeing this too? <laughs> Am I too big? Oh my God. We know that's not the problem. She's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Her reaction was everything. <laughs> She's like, I can't stand this fucking fan. I don't want to hear this fucking song anymore. Oh my God, if Jennifer flies by this car right now. Oh, what is that? That is her. Oh. Run. What, okay, see, so she did kind of fly. I kind of meant like have wings. I don't know what kind of thing possessed her. I just, I don't know. I meant wings. I should have been more specific. Okay, I know you're in distress, but girl, we need to get those shoes off of the couch. I know we're in a crisis, but that we just cannot let things like that slide. Okay, why are we flashing back? Like, wait, no, that wasn't that long ago. We remember. <laughs> are you doing i'm sorry but i'm like straight girls just do not do this shit let's just be honest i don't do this with my friends why is she kissing her back first and foremost i mean i get that she probably has a crush on her but weren't you just so scared of her like two seconds ago it's also like don't feed this girl's ego jennifer is kind of like a terrible person don't feed her ego of also having a, of you also having a crush on her like she does not need this in her brain that everybody likes her Okay, so you remember the night of the fire? And those guys from Low Shoulder? Totally evil. I mean, they're just having this book out. Are you even sure if she's a fucking virgin, man? Yes. Yes, I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. I've never, I've never even done sex. I don't know how. You guys should find somebody who does. Oh, she thought that would change them? Oh, this is scary. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Just like the ritual said. But if I heard someone that kidnapped me say, oh, just like the ritual, just saying the word ritual, no, 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 no. This is so sad. I don't know if we should go through with this. <laughs> this guy's like, this actually now an execution seems ridiculous. Do you want to be a big loser or do you want to be rich? 
Like, I'd rather be a good person and not kill somebody. Really? Like, your desire to be famous is blurring the line of your morals? I mean, hello. Ade, due, dambala. Give me the power, I beg of you. We come here tonight to sacrifice the body of Jennifer uh, from death. They didn't really say Jennifer's body. It's so sad. Do you know how hard it is to make it as an indie band these days? I don't give a fuck what your dreams are and that it's hard to be a musician. I don't care. Get me off of this rock and tied to this tree. Ugh. Ugh. Seeing that big knife? Heck no. Ugh. This guy's ruthless. Jenny, I've got your number. What is happening? Oh, and also throwing it into Devil's Butthole or whatever the fuck it's called. Kettle. Devil's kettle but i was just so hungry i was just so hungry <laughs> nothing was open <laughs> it was 3 a.m that's why she doesn't have any remorse because she killed all the people if the fire didn't kill them then she killed them and when i'm full like i am right now i'm like unkillable <gasps> That would actually be kind of cool. I'd be like, shit, my friend can never never die. That's pretty cool. Come on, needy. Let me stay the night. We can play boyfriend girlfriend like we used to. Mm, no, she's like, not gonna lie, you had me for a second earlier, but after this story, I no. <laughs> you had me in the first half. Not gonna lie. So I did some research. I love how the school library has all these books about satanic rituals. I mean, no books get banned here. Love that. Love how inclusive they are to, uh, how inclusive they are in Devil's Kettle. No book censorship here. Chip, I can go to the dance with you. Please, Chip, I just need to show you something. Is this about Jennifer? Yes, but, but you spend way too much talking about Jennifer. Jennifer's evil. I know. Ha! I've been through the occult section at the library five times. A library has an occult section? That's what I'm saying! What library just has that? A high school library. Well, what about the dance? Who cares about the goddamn dance, Chip? I do. I ordered your corsage. It's an orchid. It was like $12. <laughs> Twelve dollars. That's how much our lives are worth. You hit me once, I hit you back. Another classic early 2000s song. Wait, is this Panic of the Disco? You're sending your daughter off with the looking like it's the 80s? I mean, come on. Okay, really? I'm sorry, but like her outfit, they're just they're not doing her any favors. It's like, why can't Jennifer, I don't know if she still has humanity or decency in her mind, but it's like, why can't she just like kill bad people? Why does it have to be just like kind of innocent people, you know? Welcome to the Spring Farmer. Someone's very excited that it's spring formal. Listen, I need to talk to you about you know who. You know how Needy has been really upset since Colin Gray died? Needy and Colin were intimate. I mean, they were porking on a semi-regular basis. What? Why would you believe that? I care about you so much, Chip. More than I've ever had the guts to admit. What? Okay, this guy has been going on and on this whole movie about how he doesn't like Jennifer and he thinks that she's evil and he instantly believes her. Like the math isn't mathing. Really bold of them too to come back and play. Also, why does it work for them? If the truth is that it had to be a virgin that they sacrificed and that didn't work out, then they shouldn't be famous at all, right? Right? If that's the case. So salty. Salty? That's not- Is that a thing? Am I just like not in the loop or something? Uh, Can we kill this guy? You just broke up with your girlfriend. Oh, she feels it. I don't know why she is connected and knows some shit is happening. Okay, I like the transition of that. The beat drop. I mean, it helps that the song is really freaking good, actually. It's also like, how long have you guys been a band and been playing? They had like one song and they're like we're not famous yet what the fuck it's like okay can you chill for a second you guys are actually good if you just waited you probably would have found your footing eventually why don't you just come here and kiss me again i mean even if you did end up saving chip would you even get back together with him after i wouldn't i'm like i told you that she's a demon and you didn't believe me oh. 
the music, the pairing that they have of the music with the scenes going on, how it's shot, it's really, I love it. It works really well. I just want to know the part of like where she becomes crazy and goes to jail. Oh, that's scary. Oh, he doesn't look too, uh, too well. Just like Aquamarine, I mean. The Aquamarine and Jennifer's body similarity. I love it. Ew. Oh. You're a jerk. Wow, nice insult, Hannah Montana. <laughs> Why Chip? Is it just to tick me off? Or is it because you're just really insecure? How could I ever be insecure? I was the snowflake queen. <laughs> Who cares? What does that even mean? <sighs> Sorry, I didn't say anything, but like so much is happening. I got a tampon. <laughs> I mean, what's happening? Okay, she's just gonna crawl away. I don't think he's making it, folks. That was his last straw. I think I already died before you got here. I woke up when I heard your voice. High school boyfriend, oh my god. <laughs> it's actually like gonna make me cry for a little bit. High school boyfriend. No! Wait, so how is this gonna get concluded? Is Jennifer just gonna live on and just kill people and that's just gonna be the life and the world that we live in? Oh, okay, so this is where we started. Okay, spread your posters out a little more, girl. Like, why is it just all right there? And also, Low Shoulder just gets to be famous, even though they didn't do the ritual correctly. It, it doesn't make sense. It just does not make sense. We need more explanation on why they're still able to be famous, even though they didn't do the ritual correctly. Uh, no! Ooh, she has a freaking box cutter. It's for cutting boxes. She was trying to build up to say something cool like you know this is for cutting boxes it sounded like something more was supposed to be after that but today it's for cutting bitches or like i don't know <laughs> something more to that i mean she just left it off right there we're not bffs anymore oh i think i know what's gonna happen it's gonna look like she killed her right yeah it's gonna look like she killed her just for shits and giggles because no one suspected that jennifer was the one killing all the men in the town. I'm dead. <laughs> no. My tit. Your heart. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, um, it's not what it looks like. Eh, yeah. Let me tell you how I got here. Hi, this is me. You're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> so she's not crazy. This still doesn't mean you get to just kick people randomly. But if you're bitten by a demon, you just might absorb some of the demon's abilities. Oh, okay. Which is why she just has like strength. What the fuck? Couldn't she have done that this whole time? I mean, how long has she been here? She freed everybody in that correctional facility. I mean, look, beautiful. She's always been beautiful. Oh, the original knife, dagger. It was here all along. Where are you looking to go, young lady? East, towards Madison. I'm following this rock band. Tonight's gonna be their last show. I wish we could see low shoulder. Oh, okay, there we go. I wish that we could see her actually doing that because that would truly satisfy me seeing them get their come up this. Oh, is this gonna be it? I mean, I'll watch a little bit of this. And it's just funny because it's like the whole thing, we just wanna be famous, like finally we're famous. And it's like, did they just trick everybody into thinking that they're actually good? So all these people were kind of like in a trance saying that they're good or was their music just like marketed better? <laughs> and then more people saw all of them and genuinely just like them please yes yes i'm glad i saw this ending part because i need to uh clarify and make sure that these people are actually goners evil evil <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and discuss number one i can see why this is a cult classic because if i'm aware it wasn't so super big. I mean, it did pretty good in like the box office when I was looking this up, but I feel like in recent years, it got way more popular. I saw all these reaction videos for it just out of nowhere. And I never even heard of this movie until a couple years ago. And this movie came out in 2009. So I can see how it's a cult classic because it just has that perfect mix. It's like that, it's in that perfect mix and genre of horror comedy because it was still funny. It wasn't 
super focused on the comedy, which is fine. It was just a little bit of offbeat comments here and there. Adam Brody was a little more comical than most of the cast, but I can see, and Megan Fox, of course, was comical as well. I like the story of it too. I can see how it's kind of like resurfaced and like repopularized nowadays because everyone's kind of into like the early 2000s and you know, 2009, it was kind of just this perfect mix of like, first of all, the music, the soundtrack was amazing. I love it. It just like really took me back. The fashion and I, I think the story really like put it over the top for me because it was very feminine and there's not a whole lot of horror movies that are very feminine, I guess I would say. I don't know because the only other one I could think about where it's like kind of in a similar context of this is Ginger Snaps, which I watched last year. That movie is fantastic. It's kind of like the same premise almost. It's a, it's older than Jennifer's Body though. So if you like Jennifer's Body, I recommend watching Ginger Snaps. Very good movie. Also kind of like how this one is a little bit sad. It's too girls one kind of like gets possessed or whatever and the other one they're trying to like basically stop that so I would highly highly recommend that I can see I think this that's becoming more of like a popular trend is I kind of categorize it as like the girls are gross type of category right like a lot of books I've even been seeing lately have been that's been like kind of popular are kind of like this girls are gross kind of category is the only way I can really describe it but this definitely fits the bill ginger snaps I would say they also made a movie version of my best friend's exorcism which is kind of the same context but the movie wasn't really that good so i wouldn't recommend it but they tried because they know that's like a trend right now i just think that this movie really did have it all and i will have to say them even mentioning aquamarine and like that pool scene it was basically the same shot that they have in aquamarine this movie is a 10 out of 10. i loved this movie it was so much fun and i like that it was like short and sweet and there's always shit going on i like how they laid out all the scenes too i like how they showed us everything i guess i'll say because it could have just been we'll just we're just gonna take you from point a to point b that's it bye but no they kind of went back and forth they waited to tell us exactly what happened to jennifer to like halfway through the movie and i like how it ended with everyone kind of getting a conclusion everyone's story got wrapped up in a way that i was satisfied with because obviously obviously with them killing Jennifer. And I like that it was a little, I don't want to say realistic, maybe a little bit with the whole small town, something happens and it defines them. This is going to define them for years, right? And it was really showing that too. Like everybody was sad. No one was like talking to anybody. Everybody was all depressed. They were always telling you, this is the curfew, blah, blah, blah. Like they were really playing into that. And I really appreciate it. And I just love them showing the contrast of like everyone's depressed. And then Jennifer is the only one that isn't because she was the one killing everybody. So I like that they kind of waited to explain everything a little bit because they wanted you to really feel like, okay, this is effed up that Jennifer's acting like this. This girl is cuckoo in the head. So I really liked how they played everything out and all the timing, I guess I'll say too, the comedic timing was really good or even just like the timing with the music and certain scenes, certain shots, I really appreciate it. So 10 out of 10 for me. With all that said and done, I wanna give a huge shout out to all of my patrons and especially gave up AJ, Mark Sylvester, and James Cox. Thank you so much and make sure to go ahead and check out my Patreon if you haven't already. Okay, full length reaction to this is already up on my Patreon. Link for that will be in the description below. Go ahead, check it out, see what's in store for you there or what's coming up for the rest of the month. That's all gonna be on the, my Patreon. Once again, link will be in the description. What did you guys think? Did you guys love it? Did you hate it? Let me know. Thank you guys for coming along with me on this journey. Please, if you have any other recommendations for movies like this, let me know. Or even just movies, I guess, in this time frame because I love early 2000s, mid 2000s. I mean, this is 2009, so it's not really early 2000s. I mean, it's almost 2010. So I wouldn't really say this is like early 2000s. But if you have any suggestions for movies like this, 
please let me know. I suggested Ginger Snaps. That's pretty much the only movie that I can really think that is good. That is similar premise to this. You know what I mean? Like I said, my best friend's exorcism is also kind of like this. I just want more specifically two girls. Something's going on. We got to figure it out together. So let me know <laughs> if you guys have any more movie suggestions for this. This makes me more excited for Lisa Frankenstein, which will hopefully already be out or be soon coming out to theaters by the time this is uploaded. So I will definitely be seeing that in theaters and hopefully be doing a review about it. So let me know if you're interested or excited about that as well. So thank you for coming along with me on this journey. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all of that jazz. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.